I think we did it. Holy. Holy. Is this the podcast? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, get some drinks. She needs some drinks. Get some drinks. You were 12, 12 meters away to start this. I think this was, this is a sign. Perfect. The 400 is coming. It's not fall toast. So basically, we have my lack of luck. And then Kyla's insane luck and Mel's insane luck all on the same server. <laughs> so we'll get the things. You won't get anything. Yeah, I know. And... This is what happens. <laughs> I'm going to look bad again. On your map, though. So I'm going to go shoot an albino non tip now. I See you guys cross. later. <laughs> get a blacktail as well because they look really good, the big ones especially. Yep. Does the audio sound good? Everybody, everybody about the same level? Do I need to turn anybody up and or down? What's up, Slate? Big mail? I guess not, because she didn't even say anything. No. What? I asked if that was a big mail you shot at. So it's all females. That's Just fine. a female. Two lamos. Lamos. That's right. Less things to spook off anything else later. It sounds like how I rationalize the fact that a classic video is going poorly. <laughs> I'm like, uh, eighth small buck? Don't worry, the big ones are down the line. <laughs> What's up, Pizza? Are you and Mel on the same time zone? So, it's just a thing, I guess. Haxor, thanks for the eight months. Welcome back. <laughs> this is... You know what's 3 a.m., the witching hour? This is the big mail it's hour. It's the big mail hour. <laughs> Hey, bottom boy, long shot. Thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. There's not a elk, but we'll try to shoot that anyway. I'm going to say that now, by the way. Mel's recording this. Uh, she'll have a video of her perspective on her channel. If you're watching on Mel's channel, I apologize for every time I'm going to commentate what I say. <laughs> <laughs> a moose Oops. you're not watching. How cool. Wait, do you also have a moose? I had a moose call. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Perfect timing. You know, that's a thing in this game. If, Perfect timing. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, <laughs> this happened a lot to my friend and I when we used to play this. We used to be in the summer, like 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. every night. And very often, it seems like all members of a certain species will call at the same time, so we'd get simultaneous whitetail buck grunts or, or bull elk calls and stuff like that. Oh, how strange. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what triggers that, but obviously they have to be in render review and stuff, but it's kind of an interesting little twist that I can't imagine why exists. Yeah. You're a moose call. What's <laughs> up, modern? Today has been good, Austin. We're just kind of wrapping it up with a, a little chill multiplayer hunt tonight. Gonna kill the big males and make ourselves feel better. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Gonna try, <laughs> gonna try. You always do. Every time you join my classic game, you show me up. I got nothing but females, so it's okay. Somebody's gotta kill something a half decent, surely. <laughs> this moose may qualify as half decent. It's like a 150. I mean, that's, yeah, I'd say that's half decent. Maybe Kayak will get a 200 a night? Was this map? Red Feather be the place. <clears throat> New flower here on Twitch, but watching YouTube for a while. Well, welcome to the Twitch side of things, man. I appreciate you. Good start. Render distance on Classic. It's uh, settings dependent. I believe tied to scene complexity. So if you have high scene complexity, it's like 300 or 320 meters, something like that. Medium's 270, low is 220. Thank you. Did you guys know I smell like pudding? Yep. <coughs> I think that's a compliment, personally. Can confirm. Could be worse. What's that? It definitely could be worse. Can confirm. Can confirm. Why's your mic way back there? <laughs> because I don't want to all up in my face. Okay, 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 sorry. You're hearing me breathe. Wow. <sighs> 
the ASMR? <laughs> Kyla? Kyla's ASMR videos? They're really funny. That That's Kyla breathing, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm <trying. laughs> <laughs> Danny, thank you for the bits. By kill all the big males, you mean mail some off five to three hundred plus albino Nazi Whitetail, then get told in her YouTube comments that she hacks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you tell me about? I don't even remember what you. Oh, it was your great one encounter in multiplayer we were talking about last night. Oh yes. <laughs> and the fact that I then ended up in a server with another great one Whitetail in it like two weeks later, but I didn't shoot that one. Someone else did. That's bizarre. I remember. I've never been in one, but I remember not too long after they were, like, kind of fixed. Somebody had, like, an albino great one in multiplayer, and obviously it had been hacked. But that was one of the first ones I remember, other than the kid that spawned 100 in that server on release day. I did join that server and see one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this guy had, like, eight of them. And I was like, oh, EW... No, yeah. <laughs> you can't ruin the one good thing. So I, I joined it to be like, what is going on? And this this kid admits, like, I spawned 100 here because you guys didn't believe me that I could spawn animals. <laughs> oh, my. oh, wow. <laughs> he just was like, I'll show you. That reminds me of the dude that threatened to spawn great ones on my head because I called him a hacker in multiplayer. <laughs> and he was like, I'll spawn great ones on you. And I was like, is that a threat? Question <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. It was bizarre. <laughs> I'll give you good things. Call yeah, me a hacker yeah. again. He was really mad about it, but then said, oh, I can spawn great ones on you. And I was like, okay, weirdest start I've ever received, but we'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> Some mean just want to watch the world burn. You right. Some mean. Somewhere. Somewhere. That's the biggest male I've ever seen. Yeah, he just kind of almost walked to me, so I just yeeted an arrow at him and it actually landed decent, so... It's like throwing a dart, hoping for the best. Pretty much. Me, who could never get a great one. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Um, <laughs> You're going to have to prove it. Just under 300 caliber. We're getting there. Male. Just a male. <laughs> it is quite accurate because this is a 40 to 65 whitetail. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Biggest male I've ever seen. And now I get to track him. Oh, wow. Not a drop shot. That's unfortunate, bro. Yeah, always. Except, what was I doing that one day? Red Deer or something. I kept on dropping them. I yeah. was considering doing that for the cable back. Another female. Yeah. I don't know if, uh, if Beef Fries will make it in here, but he was the one that reminded me I was supposed to put that emote out there, so shout out to him if he if he gets to show up. That's your favorite emote? I don't know why I made that. I don't know why you did either. I wish you guys could hear the sound alerts too, because that would be much more fun, but uh, <laughs> those are nice tracks. Do you want to follow them though? Eh. I'm a guess. very small white tail. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to follow these pathetic tracks? <laughs> um, I guess Danny. Should be fine, hopefully. What's up, Captain America? Is that staying working out yet? No. Nope. Well then. Females. Oh, did they fix the uh, the nice tracks audio? Like they fixed that, but not. <laughs> I don't know. Are two eighty whitetail possible? We're talking about Call of the Wild, huh? In that case, I don't Gross. think so. Gross. Sir, this is a classic stream. How dare you mention Call of the Wild in a classic <laughs> stream? That is a sin. Which? Was it a 12 hour or a 24 hour? 
think that was a 24. Okay. We oh, had... Another female. <laughs> so the, the thing was... I, don't, I think it was G-Man and Aaron. Or basically, it was two people that didn't really play Call of the Wild that I was streaming with. And so we did a lot of classic. And every, like, four seconds, somebody would be like, you going to play Call of the Wild next? When's Call of the Wild? <laughs> Are you going to play Call of the Wild to the point that we just had to, like, remove the term in chat? Because it was every <laughs> single chat. Yeah. You're a sin mill. <laughs> Correct. Hop to your game. What's going on, bro? I'll I'll post post pose this question to everyone. What do you think the next great one will be? Our red fox. Red fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I reckon red fox will follow there personally. I don't want Vala as much as I used to like them. Like yeah. Being everyone's got twenty of them because they're already easy to get a diamond of on Tay unless um, they do a pop reset and distribute them all across the map. I just see it to be too easy. Cough, fix herd management, cough. Yeah. Because they will get herd managed so badly. I mean, even grinding them by themselves is easy, I'd say. So, yeah. Add on other things. Mm -hmm. It would just be too easy. Pretty much. I think Red Fox is a... Like, I've been on that since New England, because they changed those models. And I was kind of yes. just like, that seems like they could have picked another one. Interesting they did that, of all things. That's what I thought yeah. as well, whenever they remodeled them. I was like, hmm. Interesting. Something, it was, that's a dough. It was an interesting choice to go for, for them. They did need a remodel quite badly. But, you know, I would have thought that they maybe would have like changed the Bobcat models to make them slightly different or give them different fur types or something rather than update the Red Fox model. But... I think that is interesting that they chose to do that, and yeah. I it think a great one Red Fox would be cool. It does. I mean, look what happened with Black Bear. Exactly. And then Moose. <laughs> yeah, it and wouldn't think, shock me. I think a great one Red Fox would be cool, like, give us a cross fox that's, like, bigger than a normal Red Fox. I think that would look real, real nice. This might be stupid. Can Coyotes and Red Fox, like... No. I didn't think so wide if only i didn't oof that shot entirely i don't know somehow it was body at like seven meters wow those shots are the best i'm so good at this game that's what happened on my 200 is it said body and it ran like 10 meters and fell over what'd you shoot it with uh it was a gun i remember i, I think your it was shot. a gun yeah might have been i don't remember it was a wood grain I... stock Lindsay, thanks for the tier one sub by the way welcome welcome I just remember panicking, because I was like, oh, that's a big deer. <laughs> big male. That's a big one. That was Can approximately you... my reaction to, like, panic shoot. Yeah. Kept pressing all the wrong buttons, and I'm saying to my fiancé, I'm saying, I seen 200 get posted recently that look just like this. Wouldn't it be funny if it's a 200, picks it up 201, and I just sat there in just complete disbelief for, like, five minutes. You weren't new to Classic then, right? But you hadn't, like, been playing it much? Yeah, I wasn't new by any stretch at that point, but Whitetail and I, I don't think I was max spotting or anything. <laughs> and yeah, then that happened, and it was the first animal I saw that hunt, and the only animal I ended up seeing that hunt. Because Did you hunt much longer? No, because I immediately told everyone, and they all wanted the trophy shot, and the trophy shot wouldn't upload to someone. So everyone was just like, oh, just leave the game, it's fine. Just... So I left the game, so the only animal in that hunt is my 200 white so, Mill spawn mashes confirmed? I was no. panicking after, I was like, oh my god, everyone's <laughs> going to think I spawn lashed it, but I didn't. <laughs> it was just the first thing that walked up to me. Well, luckily Classic saves those stats, so you could actually go back and see, because... Well, the fact yeah. that you didn't shoot it at the center tower, because that's where everybody spawn mashed them. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay, thanks for the get the sub to Doc Emily. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. All I wanted was a big nom tip. That's what I was looking for. I got that before I got my 200. I had a 3, whatever, 27 on stream? Like, maybe a month yeah. or so before? I seen that, and I was like, that is the coolest thing. Thank goodness then. I, I don't know if it was the longbow or the cable back that I had, but... 
Yeah. <laughs> it was a little easier to drop. It must have been the longbow. I think it was the longbow. Something about that seems right. What did I say? Longbow or cable back? I meant heavy recurve yeah. or longbow. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the content. My pleasure. Wait. Is that the next track? Hey, Malachi. No, that ain't it. Shoots big male. Loses big male. <laughs> High buy sounds good. Those question marks make me think of SpongeBob cussing like the dolphin sound. What is happening? What? Hello, sir. Someone said the secret hey. all along is that I'm Kyla. <laughs> and who am I? Potential sick male spotted. Ooh. Whitetail? Max weight estimate and up to 23 on the score, black bear. Oh, nice. Mm. What's up, Tony? Kyla's alter egos in chat. Oh dear. It is very hard to see over here. The yeah. I should have. I probably would have done the time a little bit later if I thought of that, because it's usually quite foggy up in that area. It's all good. I'm just going to get snuck up on by the thickest man. You're just going to hear that. Uh, what would you call that? Aggressive. Roaring slash. Growling? Yes. It's alright, they take so long to charge. And then I'll be dead because I won't be able to work out where it's coming from. <laughs> that used to be... Like, when they added grizzly bears to Timbergold, for instance, and they would roar just as a call, it was... <laughs> it took me so long to get used to that. <laughs> because, like, before, bears just didn't make noises in this game. Hunting fog equals the worst. I like it in real life. There's some, you know what it does though. It like obscures your view into the distance to the point that you get to like say 9 a.m. and if there's still fog around, it for some reason, at least for me, makes it feel like it's still more likely that you're gonna see deer because it's not as light out, kinda. That's good pizza. I think we're doing pretty good. We made it 20 minutes and we haven't had any rants yet. Well, no one's brought up like the actual topic of herd management yet, so I'm just true. sitting waiting. It was like a a fringe topic for a moment. I was like, oh, here we go. Okay, don't do it. <laughs> How's the pup? She's doing good. She's, she's sleeping over there on the little doggy bed. I took her for a decent length walk today. Basically... My morning took forever. Like, I had to edit a video, and then... God, I was on hold for, like, 30 minutes trying to get her a vet appointment set up to get her a checkup and get her up to date on her shots. And then by then, I was like, if I record right now, this dog is going to be a loon. Like, it's already noon. So I took her for, like, a, I don't know, hour, hour and a half walk. And usually that kind of tires her out for the day, if that makes sense. Like, she doesn't sleep all day, but it doesn't take her much to go back to sleep. Thoughts on insert polarizing issue here? We should have the hunting ethics debate now that Mel's actually like in voice chat. Ah, yes. You know what I the thought of? hunting ethics, yes. I'm sad that Twitch VODs delete themselves after some time because that would have been a cool one. It would have been like 30 minutes or more, but I would have just <laughs> thrown that whole thing on the clip channel. That would have been good. That Guy in game debates cool. hunting ethics. <laughs> It's a good way to talk about things in a not too heated like environment, if that makes sense. I think so. And then there's the back and forth, like live aspect of the chat as well. Exactly. Uh, AJS, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome on in, Matt. Appreciate you using your sub here on this channel. How do you know it's a man? What? I said, how do you know it's a man? 
Well, you gotta look. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want to answer. Oh dear. It's been good, Grim. Just been actually I was recording to like five PM, so that was a little longer than I meant to be, but as I always say, I'd rather be busy than bored. Does Mel have a channel? Indeed. Do we have a Mel command? I think we do. Here, wait. I'll have a Mel command. Mel, shoot a big mail. <laughs> Eat. I would have a Mel command. Look at us go. Wow. I should have... See, if I was smart, I would have done... In the title, exclamation mark Mel, but I wasn't 100% sure that we had the command, and we were like... <laughs> you guys should have seen us scrambling before, before the stream started. <laughs> it was great. I've only just this like past ten minutes remembered to turn down the in-game volume for classic. So oh, we'll see how those first sort of ten, twenty minutes are. I might have to play with the audio a bit, but we'll be did fine. You, did you fire a gun at any point? Uh no, just the bow. Eh, it should be fine. Uh Hoppy, thanks for the get the subs to what do we got there? Carly and Malachi? My hype train is covering that. I think I got that right. Thank you so much, and guys, if you're here, be sure to thank Hoppy for the get the sub, hydrate, all the things. Hey, beef fries. I was talking about you earlier and the fact that you reminded me that I had to put that emote in the in the Twitch emote selection. I think it's weird they didn't add Pronghorn to the Idaho map in Wade Hunter. wouldn't say it's weird, but they would be a good addition. I think I'd like to see another map to have Pronghorn, personally, with more open areas, a bit more like Aurora Shores. It's not the most, like, stereotypical Pronghorn habitat. I'd agree with that. Yeah. Some of the planes, maybe, but even those aren't... It would maybe feel a little bit odd, but the best thing would be, like, scaled down, but let's say 100-acre fields or 50-acre fields with fences and everything. Like, yes. flat, like, Nebraska-Wyoming type of area. That That'd would be, so be cool. what I'd think of. And then what you have there, right? Think about this. This is your private land with a good genetics. Yes. I just big brained that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler. All right. Big male. I don't know. 170. What, white toe? Yeah, not bad. Ooh. Hey! Yeesh. <laughs> I can hear that going in the background. <laughs> What's that? I can hear that like through your mic. Oh, good. That will make more sense for those watching your video. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I haven't turned up more than normal. That really spooked me. Uh, why do I allow this to go on? Get wrecked, nerd. I really did. <laughs> Just trying to take a picture of my dear man. So rude. They should pictures add aren't allowed. for April Fools. What's that? Pictures aren't allowed? Pictures aren't allowed. No pictures, no photography. It's like a concert or not a concert. Where do they do that? Uh I can't think that'd be bad to me. Oh, Museums wait. and stuff? Maybe. The thing that I'm thinking of is like when we went to Breckenridge. Uh, was that in Breckenridge where we snowboarded? It wasn't. It's like 30 or 40 minutes away, but we were vacationing in Breckenridge and they went snowboarding elsewhere. Where? Snowboarding. What am I saying? Snowmobiling. Our I'll brain's not working. You Listen, I want to talk to that. <laughs> the thing, the activity we were doing is not that important anyway. Snowmobiling. Tubing or... Huh? I said snowmobiling or tubing. None of it was in Breckenridge, actually. They had a... Uh, like a professional photographer that would like get everybody posed around the snowmobile and take photos. And then it was like 40 bucks or something. And then they have a sign there. Like you can't take photos on your phone of the posted photos. That was the thing I was thinking of. 177 beef fries. Act like you've been there before. It's Breck. No kidding, man. Yeah. Say Breck. Get bricked. Oh God. They, they should. That's, they need to capitalize on that. Stop it. They're not as bad as you. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Now I can finally say things aloud and people can hear me. If you move your mic closer, they might hear you. Can they not hear me? 
Hello? You're quieter than me, but... You're the problem, it's you? Yes. <laughs> You're making me want to drive to PA for calling it Breck? That's what all the... Well, I was going to say all the locals. There's only like seven locals there. It's all tourists, but... <laughs> Even the, um, I think it was a waitress at one of the places we went. She was, I mean, well, maybe like an adopted local. She had been there for a couple of years, but even people that are like living there, a lot of them aren't from there. I'd move there if I could. <clears throat> Property is really cheap out there. As long as you got Wi-Fi, you can make it work. <laughs> Needs to be the speedy kind. Yeah, you don't want slow internet. No, not for streaming. When mine decides that it's going to take 19 hours to upload a 10 minute video and I sit there and cry. That was like, when my internet was that slow at my parents, my internet, as if I was paying for it. <laughs> I had like a loose upload schedule. It was like the video will come out sometime between Friday night and noon Saturday. Yeah, it is uh, near impossible to be like, okay, this is when my content will come out. If internet cooperates. It's just like, here's a video, enjoy. <laughs> Goodbye. Please watch, I work real hard. <laughs> well, I was going to fast travel, but now that that moose called, I'll give it a minute. A male moose? No, a cow. I just, yeah. because it called, if I then fast travel oh, right away, yeah. things won't call right at the stand. Yeah, I remember now. I actually may run to the little Flantro's room, because I didn't do that before the stream, because we were setting everything up while I'm waiting to fast travel, so you guys, uh, you know, go off, rant, rant about whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Kyla, he left us in charge, now what do we do? <laughs> If I could get a male of any kind at this tree stand, that would be um, grand. It's been you only females. got females? Yeah. It's been a That's bunch. A so I'm like, okay, whatever. But <laughs> where are the <laughs> bucks or bulls or anything? Where are the males? This is why I always go on my own map. Because anytime I'm on his, it's like nothing for me. You just got the bad spawns. You know, yeah been playing too long the game's like why are you doing this <laughs> <laughs> you're still here after all this time we'll make you want to stop <laughs> <laughs> i did just get a mission completed so that's pretty pog i forgot about missions on this game i couldn't even tell you the last time i played until today it's been a long time i think since uh Christmas events. I think the last time I was playing this consistently was last Halloween. And then Call of the Wild Great One Moose and Aurora Shores and everything mm -hmm. else came out in between. Um, squeaky chair. Oh, squeaky chair. And another thing about... Oh, you guys didn't rant about that, sorry. No. No, we, we didn't. Did. Maybe if we had... I'd say you were good. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe if we had a podcast, we could just actually voice our opinions. i probably have to not be a mod for EW, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. People who genuinely enjoy the hunt do not want to stop. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, we were just saying uh, the classic gives you bad spawns because you've been playing for so long. <laughs> you know, it's funny that th like that's a... A common, uh, a commonly held theory on spawns that the game gives you really good things as a beginner and then, like, stops doing that as you play more. I guess that could be a thing, but I just can't imagine... Because surely they know that a beginner is not going to know what a big animal is or appreciate it enough to care. Like, I don't think a big animal gets someone hooked to this game as a beginner. Yeah, I suppose if you... Ooh. I like Hello. Bottom Boy's theory that both Mel and Kyla is actually just Kyla and one of them is her impersonating her heritage. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> we are the same person. My grandma would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> It had to calculate? Oh, four years, holy. This is like the least entertaining thing I could do is just sit in the stand right now, but... Multiple things, cable back, bow drugs. It'll save us time in the end, I promise. It's been four years. <laughs> Aaron has 51 months subscribed, I think. Good one. Mad lad. Back when I was doing Madden streams on Twitch. Good times. Ew. He still smokes me about... There was this... They were called solo challenges, I think, in Ultimate Team. And the entire concept was not just beat the opposing team, though that was a very important part. You were supposed to, like, score as many points and get as many yards and all this stuff as you could. And there was, like, a world worldwide leaderboard. So I was trying to do that, and I threw a pick six to lose the game from, like, the goal line while winning, and to this day, he'll still bring it up. Flantro played Madden? Yeah. I played, uh, as recently as 22. I did not play 23. Football is bad. If you guys could only hear Kyla and Mel going back about how much they love football and their fandom. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. That's it. Okay. I don't think males exist over here, or they're not for me, so I might just move. No idea if that was a good shot or not, but, you know. If you hit him with that gun, it'll kill it. Should do. That was a weird thing with that gun. I remember... How did that work? There were a couple of us... I hope I'm allowed to say this. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> there were a couple of us... That, like, participated in... You know what it was? It was... Like, nobody's gonna remember this. So, EW made, like, a thing for their weekly live streams in Classic where the host, a.k.a. TK, could, like, fly around and watch different perspectives and to kind of show that off. And, frankly, I don't think they ever did anything with it. But to show it off, myself, Ron McTube, I... God, I want to say Biggie was there, but I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. There were a couple of us, though, that were, like, doing this competition in Classic. And as a reward, we got the 9.3 a little bit early and got to test it. And I remember being like, this is a game-changing gun. And the problem is, there's no game-changing guns in Classic because they're all good. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> They are all indeed very good. I haven't ever shot a gun in this I didn't like, I don't think. No, th that's the thing, like... You choose the utility of them. Because there's no grinding, there there's almost never a follow-up shot or anything in this game, so... If you aim well with the weakest allowed gun, it's just as effective as the most powerful? Yeah. That NDA exactly. wasn't, like, serious? There was no NDA, but... <laughs> I do think we had to keep it on the DL at least until the gun came out. I must have talked about it because I had 100 kills on release day otherwise. <laughs> Wish they didn't butcher all the classic rifles in Call of the Wild. The classic rifles meaning like 303 British and stuff or classic rifles meaning... Rifles that are in Classic that are now in Call of the Wild. Kyla's going to kill 12 deer this year, Tyler. It's going to be what? called the Kyla Redemption Tour. <laughs> uh-huh. We'll see. Well, that was a body shot, but he went, like, not very far and died. Didn't go not very far. Didn't go not very far. You know, my first ever trophy animal in Classic was a blacktail. 188. That's like far more rare than a 190 as well. I think it was 188. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I believe it. that's. I don't want to say that's a common score, but that's like the common 180 score. Blacktail are very weird like that. 
Like you have 161 to 160, maybe three really often. And then you have 190 to 196. You rarely get 180s, you rarely get 170s. How strange. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little Truax quirk, I guess, because must be. they have a, a basic frame shape. Yeah, must be something to do with that. Oh my gosh, another female. Steelers, by the way, those you guys that are asking. A mushroom. Eat it. <laughs> You'll see some really cool things. I'll see some really good animals out here. <laughs> <laughs> that elephant's really big. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a story that my fiance likes to tell people. Apparently not long after I came home from South Africa, I was in a call with him and I was like asleep asleep. And I apparently in my sleep went, look at that zebra. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> it I, I, that would freak me out. Which I know that I have like talked in my sleep while on the phone with Kyla. I don't think the reverse has ever happened. <laughs> it's uh, entertaining. I can only imagine just sitting there being like, "Okay, do I respond to that?" <laughs> It must have been a very nice zebra for me to comment on it in my sleep. <laughs> Maybe it was white and black striped. Wow. How many super rares do you have, Fro? All Imagine Fro's super rares super are rares. giants, too. They're not like, oh, barely made it. They're like max score. <laughs> Imagine getting super rares. Yeah, who would do that? Zaggy got more views than me? Good. He needs him. Of course he's not playing classic, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I don't know why someone's going to come out here and act like that's a huge deal. I don't. It's not even a competition. I think you guys need to realize that. And if you think it's a competition, that's pretty toxic on you. Just saying. What I, I was thinking. Kyla said what I was thinking, but in a much more polite way. This is why I'm never mic'd up, okay? Because he might be too nice, but I'm not. Nah, Kyla, that was real diplomatic. What was I was going to say was not that nice. <laughs> it's happening. It will happen by the end of the stream, I can tell. <laughs> is it a joke you guys are hurting my feelings? It, I mean, it wasn't directed at you necessarily as much as it was. That's a thing that you'll see you like only caring about views or only caring about you know like pleasing the masses or whatever if you don't have the most people watching your stream then you suck <laughs> oh okay don't you know this flinter my god you have to have the top of your accounts all the time otherwise you don't count as a creator that's how it is Oh dear. Are there great ones in this game? <laughs> Gets hot in the kitchen? Sounds like Mike Tom. <laughs> You're done, TGT? The thing is, like, I have a 400 Rocky. I actually have a huge 400 Rocky, 422, but that also was before Lodges came out. So my Trophy Lodge Rocky is a 401, which I think... Is Fro still here? We tried to make a video for his channel and something happened, but he had like a view of me shooting it. I'm almost sure he has a recording like a third person view of me shooting that 401. Big meal. Very big. A call and it's a doe. Nothing's calling over this way. It's really weird. Are you still up in the swamp? Yeah, kind of. I'm just getting Usually that's a good spot. <laughs> I said, I'm just getting those, so. Yay. You have Maybe the most we'll get a red one. Hey, yo. I did get a Mela from this spot on my map. Honestly, for a second now, I thought you just shot one. And I was <laughs> like, did you just casually shoot a Mela and not even mention it? <laughs> not telling anyone anything. Imagine rares <laughs> actually being special in a game. I... <laughs> it's crazy. That's what I like about Classic, though. Like, it's... 
it feels very well earned, you know. Always. Classic it, trophies are hard to get. Yeah. Like, even that fallow that I had the other day that just ended up being, like, say, a well above average buck, I was still, like, kind of casually freaking out as it was coming in, like, holy, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what's so good about this game, is even it doesn't even have to be a, like, trophy by everybody's standards. It's, it can be a trophy to just specifically you and be exciting. That's where the arbitrary scoring systems, like, like five stars in Way the Hunter or metal system in Call of the Wild, like it kind of, it only deems an animal of a certain level a trophy. Whereas in this game, like, well, my last biggest one was 120. And I just shot a 140. That's that must be a giant, right? Like that's special to you. Exactly. That is what is good about classic. Yeah, the realistic scoring is is something that I hope more games going forward do which is wild because like more games come out more technology to potentially i don't know more accurately create like a a system that's i'll, I'll call it true racks because that's what they use but a system where the antlers display what the score says yes but classic's the only one that's been able to do that I know technically that's what Call of the Wild does, but it's completely arbitrary. Like, they... It doesn't mean anything to me. Like, I, I just shot a... I'll give you a little mini spoiler for what's going to be in tomorrow's video. I just shot a... Quite a nice red deer. In Call of the Wild. Ah, uh, And yes. the scoring is like circumference... Wait, this was the elk. Not the red deer. Yeah, the Rocky Mountain Elk. It was circumference, length of tines, and main beam length. Like, that's it. That's the only three things that are measured. And I, I get where that's kind of like a compressed version of Boone and Crockett scoring, but it's leaving so much out. Yeah, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Big circumference. <laughs> yeah. What really matters is circumference and length. Oh my god. <laughs> no overall spread here. <laughs> oh dear. What's up, Andy? Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome on in. BNC doesn't have red deer? Uh, they do, though. Well, they have a way of scoring them. They don't keep records for them, but they do have a measurement system. I imagine the measurements is quite similar to elk. It probably. is, but there's, there's something they do where, like, they take a half or a third of something because, like, the circumferences and stuff are so insane. Yeah. On big ones. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, this is a plus. Shot one elk, tracking it towards another elk. Well, that's always handy, isn't it? We measure on a scale from worthless to girthmas here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just read Perfect. that out. Aye. <laughs> Heart attack numero two. I'm not going to survive tonight. <laughs> 44 minutes in, had that twice already. Aren't what you was I say? Oh. I didn't do that. I'm sure you will too. No, I don't have <laughs> enough points, sadly. Good to know. <laughs> or do I? Anyway, I read that out loud, and as soon as I completed the sentence, I thought, oh, good, that's going to be in Mel's video now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Immortalized Granted, forever. We're hoping that all of the audio and recording well, goes right after what we were just experiencing, so. True. <laughs> Big Rex. If they do add them again uh, for yeah. April Fools, we just need to be able to kill them, like, properly. Not in, you know, several hour sessions of <laughs> hundreds got, of rounds of ammo. I got emotional damaged and didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry. Oh, really? <laughs> I said they need to add the regs again, but like make them properly killable this time for April Fools. Or I do wonder... raptors. I think that would be cool. Oh, raptors! Yeah, raptors. Since they introduce what those little murder bunnies. I think if they oh, had yes, like the little version of raptors from Primal, that would be really fun. I really miss the murder bunnies. They were such fun. 
I hated how loud they were. <laughs> they were great. <laughs> made me cuss every single time. And, like pure panic. Oh they yeah. Knock me out after one little baby bump. I think we all swore at them collectively as <laughs> a group of players, but they were fun. It was funny that like werewolf sounds off or, or the pigs or the goats or whatever, it was always like, oh good, another one. When the rabbit started off, it was like a little bit spooky because you know there's a probably 50-50 shot that you die. Exactly. <laughs> you could like you just couldn't get really good at getting them, or at least I couldn't. Because they'd come at you from like round rocks and stuff, and they were really fast. Yeah, they were they were always changing direction, and you didn't. I kind of like I get why they wouldn't have done it, but had they done a silver buckshot, I think there would have been yes. more hope. I was so hoping when we got the shotgun, when we first saw the like teaser of it, that it was going to have silver buckshot. I was like praying, but alas. Yeah, I thought it would, but I guess they just wanted like fire rate basically yeah it makes sense and it was still a beast of a of a of a weapon for that event it saved me many times yeah i very much enjoyed using it i had planned on almost exclusively using the crossbow pistol but then i just thought they were gonna do only werewolves like in the past yeah it just wasn't feasible because you'd always have either two werewolves or like a a group of pigs and a werewolf on the side or something. Like, it was always multiple things. Yeah, I loved that. It was chaotic and it was great. Best event I've ever played in Classic. It was so far. well done. It was. It was fantastic. I only remember... hope they do that again or even improve on it. Yeah, because when I saw the teaser, I was like, there's no way this is real. This is just, like, a concept, surely. And then it actually happened. I was like, there's no way. This is the coolest thing. That we had this conversation the other day, and actually, we'll morph this same thing into uh, Rio's question: What game do you think is better, Wall, uh, Way the Hunter, or Call of the Wild, Wall of the Wild, Wall of the Wild, Way, yeah. Way of the Wall of the Wild? Um, but you you sense that passion behind Classic when they do something like that Halloween event, because you know that wasn't a simple thing for them to to make happen. Definitely. Like, they they could have just done the werewolf event they always do, and people would have loved it because they always have. But yep. instead, they had an entire map's worth of species that all had unique uh, ferns. Generally a similar behavior, but uh, there were a couple. It was Axis Deer and Kangaroos would spook. Yes. And they also considered, like, because they put the fog on the map, I definitely noticed you could get a little closer to Kangaroos or, or, or yeah. what were they called? Ghost Roos. Yeah. Like, they ma they turned down the spook a little bit because you couldn't see as far. Like, they really thought it out and really put time into it. It was brilliant. It was. Do you remember the Axis deer that I had? That situation that went on for hours? Yes. <laughs> How big of one did you get? 201, I think it was. I thought so. And I shot it. Well, I saw it. Tracked it, spooked it, tracked it, spooked it, tracked it, spooked it. Finally got a shot. It was a body shot. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> tracked it again. Finally put another shot into it. Then I walked up to it as it was led down, wounded, and shot it till it died. <laughs> yes. Because it, was, it just wouldn't die. And I was so tired by the end of it that when I picked it up and it said it had four shots in it, I was like, why does it say I shot it four times? I shot it twice. <laughs> and I remember saying this to you and Kyla, being like, this must be bugged. It says I shot it four times. I kind of vaguely course. remember that. Yeah, but it was because I was so out of it by the time I found that thing. Because <laughs> it was so late that I just completely forgot I put two more shots in it to execute it while it was on the ground. <laughs> That's called being ethical or something. Yes. But I got one. I wanted one over 200. Favorite animal in the event. And I got one. It's one of my favorite trophies ever in this game. And that hunt for it made it all the cooler. As much of a pain as those hunts can be, those are the memorable ones. Like, I'll yeah, never for sure. forget the reindeer that my buddy spotted yes. that went out of the map that with, like, 
five minutes left before the time was going to reset. I hit the tracks, located it, and shot it. Actually, I shot the wrong one in, in the distance. It turned out to be a bigger one, but I still also found the right one as it ran by later. That was nuts. I remember watching that video. That was so cool. Because the reindeer in this game are just incredible to see when they're that big. They they really are. I love their models. Like They just got the proportions and stuff, right? They did. So, sounds good, Reb. I appreciate you. A stream. What's up, Drizzy? So anyway, to answer that question, which game is better, Call of the Wild or Way the Hunter? I've answered this a million times, so I want to hear your answer. Actually, both of you guys' answer, and then I'll do my same spiel that I always have. I think it depends on the person and how you like playing a game. You know, like sometimes if you like faster paced things, and I'll play Call of the Wild other times. Now that I've actually put the time into Way the Hunter, I like it better. Because I say they're like little Chia pets. And they grow. And it's really cool to watch them grow, you know? Like, even if I mess up a shot and to see them grow as far as they can and then they're still doing fine, I don't know. I just find that right now to be more enjoyable. But I do wish that Way of the Hunter had more rares and then it would be higher on my list. But my time as of late has definitely been for Way of the Hunter more than Call of the Wild. So, yeah. I agree with that completely. At the moment... I'm very much enjoying Way the Hunter 2, but that's also because of things with Call of the Wild, such as herd management, <laughs> which I will try and watch to go on the brand about. But I like the fact that, like Kyla said, it is waiting for animals to grow. There is that realistic aspect to it. You are managing your herds for quality, which gives it a realism aspect as well. And I just really, I like the payoff of that. I like seeing something of the young knowing it's got potential, watching it grow throughout the cycles until it gets to a big mature. And I just find that such a satisfying and rewarding feeling to be like, okay, and now it's time to take that animal out. And I've had that with the couple of rares that I've had as well, actually watching them from the moment that they appear in game as a, as a one-star young and then watching them grow through all the cycles. It's just so much, so much fun. I really, really enjoy that about the game. Whereas, like I said, we're called wild at the moment. I'm just so burnt out on it. And like I said, with the herd management thing that's in Call of the Wild, which is very different to the herd management in Way of the Hunter, that's kind of that aspect of it I don't enjoy because it's very arcadey. So Way of the Hunter has a lot of the aspects I like. But then Call of the Wild is a very good game still at its core. And is a good game if you want to play something hunting related, but maybe don't have the time to put into something like Way of the Hunter. Agreed. I just wish they make Way of the Hunter more realistic. They should die after one year. Sorry, <laughs> Pennsylvania talking to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you hunt in PA, you know what I'm talking about. Bad. Now, I, I, I agree exactly with what both of you guys said. And like the... The fast pace for Call of the Wild is, A, it's probably more fitting for consoles because most console games are fast paced and it's more fitting for a lot of people who's going to just maybe play a hunting game more casually. But if you're, if you hunt in real life, and I'm not saying like only real life hunters should play Way the Hunter, but if you do hunt in real life and you're looking for maybe an off season thing to do to kind of have that same type of experience or even in season, just something to come home to. I used to say it all the time in classic. Can't kill him in real life, I'm going to go shoot him in pixelated form. But Boy the Hunter has definitely got the realism down. I still think classic's the most realistic hunting game ever made, but as much as it's, you know, stood the test of time here 14 years later, Boy the Hunter does look significantly better. Thanks, Marshawn. It is certainly a beautiful game. Spots off, mature. <laughs> <laughs> um no. it's it's just the way it goes here which you know it seems like a bad thing until you start to realize that if the neighbors are shooting all the uh one and a half year old bucks there's way more two and three and four year olds that are surviving than you think they can't kill them all Hey, Hattrick, Love and Wait the Hunter just bought it three days ago. That's awesome to hear. I think all three of us, when it, well, when we initially 
got our hands on it because Mel and I both had it in early access and then Kyla got it when it came out. All of us were like immediately addicted because it was just like, hey, there's the new shiny thing, right? But also it was the new mechanics. It was the realism. Every time you fire a shot and you see the deer kind of jump and kick. Yes, I was just thinking that. I remember seeing that and being totally in love with it and being like, this is amazing. I knew there would come a time where I started to take that for granted, but it's still, when you really take the time to look at it, you just kind of get that, I don't know, warm, fuzzy feeling like, ah, this is so cool. I like it. Every time I see it, I still think it's just awesome. I like when you're calling something in and they call back, especially with like elk or red deer and their whole body moves Mm -hmm. with the call. Oh, it's just so cool. You you sit there and you watch them and their ears are turning and twitching, you know, listening around for stuff. It's just fantastic. That thing that you just mentioned, that little, little minor animations, before Classic moved to multiplayer, they had more of those. I think they removed some of the more complex ones to make them sync up in multiplayer better. Because I remember watching a video from like 2009 or 10 of a mule deer coming in and it had all these little twitchy deer-like animations. And Way the Hunter has kind of brought some of that stuff back into the like modern hunting game sphere. Yeah. It's pretty awesome to see what they've actually managed to accomplish with Way of the Hunter. And honestly, if they bring out like an Africa map or something, that's what I'm really hoping for. I just can't wait to see what it will be like. I mean, they nailed the caribou, which was this, the one species I was most looking forward to on Aurora Shores. They nailed them. I think they're just fantastic. I could, I'd could, i fill my lot with them if I could, if they wouldn't keep dying on me as four stars. <laughs> but I'm thinking of things like if they put like greater kudu or cape buffalo with those kind of models and those kind of animations, just, that'll be nuts. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they do Africa. And I also hope they... Like, you mentioned Greater Kudu. I hope they kind of take some liberty and do some species that other games aren't doing. Yes, please. I say other games because I don't know when Ultimate Hunting is supposed to come out, but I'm guessing they Not anytime have... soon. It seems that way. <laughs> the But they have the species list out, right? Yeah, they have the species list for the reserves, yeah. So they they're could, doing... Yeah, they're they doing a lot of popular ones. some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Giraffe I mean, would be there's... interesting. Neck deer. Giraffe, Yes. They would be cool. There's so many, so many species in Africa, so many cool game species that Plus, there's a, a huge list of stuff that they could potentially have. Yeah, that would be awesome. charge at you and stuff too. I've seen people like just driving around, probably with their little safari things, and those things are hauling butt they, trying yeah. to get to them. And I'm like, that is literally how I imagine like a dinosaur coming at me. <laughs> okay, like you wouldn't expect something like that to do it, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> if you watch how they run, they look so unathletic, like they shouldn't be moving, but wow. they're going like 30 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, and they can be seriously dangerous if you get a like a rogue giraffe. They can be a big problem. I mean, it's a big animal. It like doesn't a take them. A... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you don't want an angry giraffe. <laughs> Give us some hippos. Oh yes, hippos. Like yes, hippos are like one of the coolest, most underrated species I think for an Africa map. If you learn anything about hippos, they are so deadly. I think they kill more humans than like anything else every year. They are nuts. And after actually seeing them in Africa when I went, like we were at the edge of this uh, like little pond thing and it was evening time. And they said, oh, there might be hippos here. There's sometimes hippos here. And we're parked up on the edge and we're just completely quiet. And then just suddenly out of nowhere, there's two hippos. Oh gosh. They are so quiet and so fast. It is kind of kind of scary that they can just appear like they do. It's really quite eerie. It was it's so a, cool. It's a little bit of that same thing. Like you look at them, you watch the move, and if you like if you put them on a treadmill and didn't know what the speed was, you would be like, ah, they can't catch me. Yeah. <laughs> they like. will. Not they only will. will they do that, they will bite you in half. Pretty much. Their, their tusks are just incredible. 
the shape of their skull is incredible. They're just absolutely nuts. That would be one thing if they did do hippos on an Africa map. I'd love the option to do a Euro mount for the skull because hippo skulls, if you've never seen them, go Google them. They are the most gnarly looking things. They are incredible. Absolutely amazing looking skulls. I just, yeah, that's, I think would be so oh, awesome. Aren't they nuts? If that's one of the, that's one of the things that there's like those random articles that are like what like what the species is and then what aliens would recreate it as if they only saw the skull yes <laughs> you would yes. think it's some kind of i mean you think it's a predator species of some kind which i guess um, they sort of are but not in the same category. they're just crazy crazy animals they are literally out of most of the things you could go against in africa hippos are one of the things i'd be most frightened of to be on foot when like no protection, <laughs> you'd be, yeah. Hippos are one of the ones that you just wouldn't want to be in that situation at all. One boy says to be that smooth and big. It's crazy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Maybe that's why they're that fast. They're just aerodynamic. It's like a swimmer. You gotta okay. have like a swim cap and everything. <laughs> I just think hippos are cool. I really do. And um, yeah, on an Africa map, they'd be really, really fun, I think. If they could charge you and stuff. Just thinking about those kind of encounters that you could have. Ooh. In Call of the Wild terms, are they a five or a nine? Nine. Okay. You couldn't put a hippo as a five. There's no way. I feel like it'd be... Yeah, it would be weird to see that. Somehow it also is weird... For me to think of them as a nine, but I think you'd get used to it really fast. I think if red deer are a nine, hippos have to be a nine. That's fair. Red deer are an outlier there. It's yeah. fitting, but they're an outlier. Yes. Because yeah. I think hippopotamus is a top three animal name. I look at that and I feel like <laughs> no sane human would read, like if they never heard it before, would read that as hippopotamus. It would be like hippoptimus or something weird. <laughs> hip-hop, yes. <laughs> I agree um, about the hyena thing, if Way of the Hunter added it, but the only downfall about Way of the Hunter, minus Mel being attacked by a bison, is <laughs> I would like to see more aggression in oh. Way of the Hunter. Like, if they did add hyenas or even Call of the Wild, I want them to act like they're stalking me and whatnot. Yes. Like, I want to be scared, you know? Yes. <laughs> Hip Optimus Prime. Oh my god. <laughs> Brilliant. But, but like yeah. even if it's a, a like a rare encounter to have like a group of hyenas circling you or something, maybe after you made a kill. Mm -hmm. That I think would be I think that would be cool because I mean that's what they want. They're like, oh something's dead. Let's go steal yep. it. Yep. I, I'd start be, blasting. <laughs> you know, it could be the rarest encounter and I would never stop trying to get it because I know it would be just the coolest thing. Especially with those models. I think the hyenas would look awesome. They've got really awesome skulls as well. Again, they would make that. cool Euro mounts. They've got like really thick looking skulls. Like it's the bone looks so thick compared to like a wolf. You they can probably... tell. Yeah. Like you ahead. can tell that they're meant for just pure power. Exactly. It's really cool. That's what I was going to say. They probably need to be. Cause yeah. wolves are obviously voracious and tough animals too, but they don't have to deal with what is in Africa. Yeah. You gotta be tough to survive in Africa. You gotta be the biggest of the big. Pretty much. Oh, what are the odds of that? I somehow didn't spook these other blacktail does that are coming in. Why? I'm sure I'll spook it with the next shot, but still. <laughs> Predatorial behavior is so random that simulating it is insanely difficult. Yeah, because you end up with what you have in... Call of the Wild, where you've got, like, seven Cape Buffalo charging you at the same time. Yeah. It, I think it's got to be quite a low, a lowish chance. 
but still possible, if that makes sense. Yeah, I I get where you're coming from. I don't know if... Like, you'd still, on occasion, have those encounters. Though you could have, probably, a check when an animal's potentially going to go aggressive to see if another is aggressive, outside of pack behavior. Yes, that would be cool. Yeah, because with things like Cape Buffalo... You're not normally going to have seven of them charging you at once. Imagine. You would just... You might as well just lay down. Yeah, pretty much. Do you agree I mean, that caribou should have abandoned the white rhyme? Yes. Uh, I don't know where I got this information, but I heard that maybe EW said it themselves, that uh, they didn't do it because they would have had to redo the reindeer AI because they migrate on him a little. They, they walk in straight paths. And white rhyme... Maybe because of the mountains, they couldn't do that. But I don't understand why they just couldn't give them normal roaming animal AI. I never understood why they didn't do that. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Didn't mean to cut you off. I just saw that and I remembered that I knew a thing about it. No, it's fine. I didn't know that. Would have been cool to have another car. Well, have caribou on that map and then reindeer on Hamilton. 100%. I mean, and they could have done exactly what Call of the Wild did and gave them the same antlers. I would say that classics antlers are better. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. No question. I do wish they had more... It's not that they don't have wide set ones, but the wide set ones still have the same beam shape. Like, I I want what Way the Hunter does, where the beam makes a, a C shape, kind of? Yes. Yes. That would be cool. I mean, the caribou and reindeer in Call of the Wild, their antlers just need completely redoing, in my opinion. Like, the fives are okay, but they could be so much better. But everything else just doesn't compare to anything that you see in real life. They just don't look right to me. And the caribou models as well, just like the overall animal model, I think seriously needs a redo. Because they're, like, one of my favorite things in real life. I think caribou and reindeer, they just look incredible when they get to the big sizes. So I'd love to see them get some love and attention. Yeah, I think the reindeer, like, the models are okay. I want them to do more with the antlers. But the yeah. caribou, like, it's like they use the same skin on a thicker model, so they look like they're reindeer stung by a lot of bees. Yeah, that's what they look like. They look too... I don't know. Their face looks weird as well. I don't know how to yes. quite describe it. It's almost rectangular, too boxy in shape. It doesn't look quite right. Yeah, there's a... It's not a... Like a deer-shaped head. I don't know how to yeah, exactly. say that. But um, I, I was recently... I don't know why I didn't do it. I think it was because I try not to make clips of videos that are already themselves a clip. So, I was going to make a video of the first Diamond Caribou that I shot on Yukon in Early Access, but I think I then realized the only, like, the only content in that video is that Diamond Caribou, so I just left that, but I remember seeing, like, those crazy big back tines and stuff and thinking how cool they were, and they are, but I just wish they got, like, I wish there was more frame chase and stuff. It's all the exact same basic frame with some variety in, like, the tops and Tine size. Yeah, there's not much variety in the big fives at all. Can you see my chat? No. <laughs> Space Cowboy put uh, reindeer with my Fuels 180 emote and then caribou with the Fuels Sag emote. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That yes, was brilliant. Very, very good. Oh dear. Will ultimate hunting be better than Wade Hunter? Maybe, Good but question. like, we just haven't seen enough of ultimate hunting to really give that. I don't know to be like a hundred percent of anything. You know what I mean? They can show, yeah. oh, we're working on this, we're working on that. But like, if I can't see the actual gameplay, like, I'm not going to say it's going to be Way of the Hunter because we can actually see what Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild have to offer compared to ultimate hunting. Granted, do I want them to hurry up and come out with their game? Yeah. I mean. Oh, go on. No, you go first. Oh, okay. Um, I think they're going to have the same problem that Way the Hunter had to face with Call of the Wild, having like a, a what, six-year head start? Five-and-a-half-year head start at the time? 
Way the Hunter is going to be a year old here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And I would guess, when did Aurora Shores come out? January, February? Oh, I want to say it was February. I think so. I'm guessing their second map DLC will probably be sometime around the one year anniversary of the game because they did six months to develop the first map, probably about six more months to develop the second map. The longer they give Way the Hunter a head start, the tougher it's going to be for them to be better. I do think they have a lot of content they're trying to push out with the release. I kind of get the impression that maybe they're not trying to do this most successful model of hunting simulation games, which is what Classic Call the Wild and Way the Hunter do. Consistent updates adding more and more stuff. If they don't do that, they have zero chance because this is what has dominated the genre and like what people want in games that are naturally repetitive is something to break that repetition and a new map every six months and new guns every three months and all that stuff does exactly that yeah very good point but as kyle was saying it's impossible to say if it's going to be better or you know give any real comparison until we've at least seen some actual gameplay footage at the minute we've seen lots of really interesting models, animations, and there's a lot of potential. If What I would say is if the stuff that they've been showing off, like some of the animations and the models and everything, if that comes out as good as what it's being shown as, it's going to definitely have a chance to be as good as or maybe even better than. But you can't say that in any real, you know, with any real certainty until we see the final product. Because it's easy to make a, I, I guess, make a clip of, you know, five seconds of a, a running animation or that wounded baboon animation, for example. It's really, really visually breathtaking. But does it actually play out as smoothly and as you would imagine it? Exactly. It's just hard to tell, you know. Exactly. A lot of you guys are football fans. I think I can make a decent analogy here. Oh, God. Uh, you guys know Anthony Richardson just had an insane combine? He is ultimate hunting right now. On, like, in a vacuum, he might be the most talented quarterback ever in the combine. But is he actually going to be good on the field, you know, in an NFL setting? No idea. With actual competition? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good analogy. To. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to... I'll go back to the game side of things. It's one thing to post a thing doing its animation without any context. But does it run when it's supposed to? Does it swim when it's supposed to? Is it going to swim four feet above the water? Like, that was a thing that Classic Water Buffalo did for a while. All those <laughs> things... You have to see them working in unison, or it means next to nothing. Oh, good be fries. I thought you were... Uh, chatting and driving, I guess that would be. Oh, look at now. Just like you. What? <laughs> Nothing. What did you call? <laughs> I said nothing. I actually didn't hear what you said. <laughs> okay, then that's what. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my. Oh my. And only You're assume. Bullying. Never bullying. <laughs> Never. If there's Never. one thing that I am, it's a victim of bullying around here. Yes. Spice it up. It's our version of the podcast. Just nonchalant roast. I'm a survivor. <laughs> what did you say? I said I'm a survivor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Another miss. <laughs> you can... Show, I think, is probably the word that you're trying to go for there. Show every ingredient in some amazing five-star food all on a table. No one's going to know that. Uh, no one's going to know what it'll be till you make it. Yeah, um, that's, that's a really okay. good analogy. Like, they have, they have all the ingredients there of making, you know, an award-winning dish. I don't know what to call it. Gordon Ramsay approved. <laughs> but they, they, haven't, they haven't cooked anything, frankly. Pretty I much. like this. Let's make analogies for everything. This is fun. <laughs> I found an antler. Why? She's good, Fro. I just actually scheduled her for her event appointment because we're driving her to Georgia 
next month, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be like an 11 hour drive. She does really good in the truck. We've taken her as far as West Virginia, which is right about five hours. So I know she'll probably not love it, but got to make sure she's all squared away before that. And it's, uh, I think it's going to be fun. She'll get to meet Kyla's parents' dogs, which she met all of Will's dogs and did really good with them. But that's the current shadow itinerary. Get her to the vet and drive her south. We have got some exciting news. Oh. So tomorrow we are getting another puppy, mm -hmm. a rescue. Aww. So nice. it's, it's another chihuahua to go with the chihuahua that mum's got. But he's been, because we've got two retrievers and then the chihuahua, which is mum's, he can't quite play with the two retrievers because they're just a bit too clumsy. <laughs> so he really enjoys playing with any other smaller dogs. So mum's been keeping an eye out for a rescue and one finally popped up and they're going to get her in the morning. So that's going to be exciting. Cool. Another animal for the animal household. <laughs> Welcome to the animal farm. <laughs> you look a little dark. Let me look at you. Hey, Casey, what's going on, man? Uh, you chasing a uh, non-typical mule deer now, now that you got your non-tip white tail in like 12 seconds? That was so cool. I'm still so jealous of that. Also, hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you new around here? <laughs> Come here often? That's what I try to say. <laughs> My brain malfunctions. <laughs> you new around here? <laughs> it's alright. I had to ref like restrain myself. From singing when you said West Virginia, I had to like hold it in. Like, no, I can't bell out West Virginia on the street. You know, that's the pin comment on that video. Is the entire lyrics of it? <laughs> man, man, come back. That's brilliant. Oh, you are coming back, hey, you? Lame Zach. <laughs> Peak yes. comedy. Hopefully, it takes a little longer. Isn't that a nice feeling? Like, I want this to take a while. Classic is a game that will make you think that. It's just enjoyable throughout. Like, it's it's weird. It really is. I, I've never quite experienced anything like Classic in that way. That, like, you enjoy the... Like, like I won't say that the entire ten years that I've tried to get a 200 white tail, that every moment was like, ah, oh, yeah, this is bliss. But it was always just like... <laughs> You know, you come away, you shot a 175 and then hunt or whatever, like, ah, nice. That was yeah. fun. Didn't get him, but that was fun. And I don't know whether it maybe it's just me who feels like this, but I feel like, and maybe this is a, like, content creation thing. With Classic, because it is so random and you can never predict what you're going to get, there's less pressure to it. Like, whatever you get is a cool thing. So, that's great. It's not like everyone's going for the same thing, like with a great one, right? It's not yeah, every like everyone's going for the same great one, and so you feel that pressure of, oh, everyone's got ten of these great ones already, and I've not got one. So there's none of that that you have to think about. It's just, oh, today I found a non-typical. That's really, really cool. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Does it make sense? We're literally going out here hunting and winging it because we never know what's going to be on the map. And that's what I really do like about it. You have no expectations. You just hope for the best. And then exactly. it's more enjoyable. It's not as much work, I guess you could say. And that's what I like about it. It doesn't feel like work. I mean, G-Man's no. a perfect example of that. He basically doesn't shoot things when he plays this game. He, he basically passes on everything that's not big. That's and you I can do. do that. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Like, you can let them all go and try to scoot around them and find a bigger one. It, there's nothing... Like, there's no... Outside of spawn mashing. There's no playstyle that's wrong in this game. Like, you can just do whatever you want. You can bow hunt. You can gun hunt. I know a lot of people that just sprint around and only get heavy tracks and then follow those. And they're all effective. Like, everything's effective in this game. There's not... You don't have to ride or you don't have to herd manage. You don't have to do one thing to be the most efficient. Because it's random. Exactly. And that's what I said, like I said, with the like the pressure aspect that you might feel, especially with things like all the wild sometimes. I feel like this is like a sit back, relax and just let let it happen. Let the flow go and see, you know, what, what you can actually find. There's no 
sort of limitation. Like you might be wanting to hunt specifically red deer, but then a silver tip red fox walks out, and mm-hmm. then you end up with something else that's just really cool. This is kind of the case in any hunting game to a degree, but especially in classic. One of the things that I always used to say, like, so I would start my hunt and I used to always draw the path that I was going to take. So I'd be like, you know, we're going to start at this tent. We're going to go up to here, going to cross this uh, creek, head up north, cut over to the east. By the end, I had gone nowhere near that because the hunt just takes you wherever it takes you. Nothing goes to plan in this game. And that's a beautiful thing. Exactly. And there's, yeah, like there is no grinding other than maybe grinding missions for, for money, maybe but there's no grinding for a specific trophy. So it's just completely, like we said, completely random. And that's just such a nice aspect of this game. That's what I enjoy about it. Oh, look, another female. Another female. I'm actually moving around Speaking this random. time, and that's all I'm finding. <laughs> random up, females. Should have shot that small noose. Ma'am, where are you? She's hiding from me. Playing hide and seek. I I'm don't blame bit... her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous, Casey. I miss like the one, like not not that the wonder of classic doesn't still exist, but when everything is completely new and it's all it's just like you know what today I'm gonna go to Herschel and I haven't been there yet. That is a nice feeling. Connect your YouTube to your Twitch. I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think you can. But then I am not the most techno- technological <laughs> person. I'm not either. That's why I have mods. Because like I don't know how to do half the things that the mods do on like an <laughs> hourly basis. It's like, I, guys, you do this. Literally, I used to... <laughs> When we would need to do something in Discord, I'd message Cellshot and I'd be like, hey, uh, when you get time, can you make this happen? Because I don't know how to do this. I mean, I do that with my Discord with uh, Acid. I just send it to him. I'm like, please fix. Right. Help me. Help me. Excuse me, sir. Make this happen. (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing. I just wing life in general. (laughs) I don't ever know what I'm doing. What was I just listening to? I think it was Joe Rogan was saying that. He's he was I, I might be wrong about who it was, but I believe that's what I was listening to when I was going to pick up Kyla and he's like Remember when you were little and you thought there were actual adults? And then you get to a certain age and you realize everybody's just kinda like trying their best to <laughs> stumble their way through life and nobody actually knows what they're doing. Just swinging it for real. It's a comforting feeling when you realize you're not the only one that's like Get completely lost all the time. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's go. I wish it could be fries. It'd be cool. But I I guess I also understand why they wouldn't want that. Can I say thank you for the five? Get the subs, man. Oh. Really appreciate that. That's what we should start doing. We should just <laughs> ever, pause everything and just go. <laughs> oh. It's recording today. I think it was. What happened? You got, like, a diamond or something. Oh, it's so that. I won't say it since, you know. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. But right after, because I was holding Shadow so she wouldn't um, be annoying. <laughs> right after, I just said, holy. And I was like, please keep that in there. Like, for once, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll find a way. Because I always do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, before that gets too far off my screen. Oh, it already did. Come uh... on, chat. I believe in you. There we go. Flags uh, on there. Too far. I saw that. If my thing would like let me scroll for a second. Okay. Bank, Sergeant, Deep Blue, Lag, and Theo. If you guys are in chat, be sure to thank KC for the get the subs. Join the Discord. Link up your Twitch. Get the sub roll and all that good stuff. Enjoy the emojis here in Discord as well as in here in Discord. Here I screwed Discord. it up. Here in Discord <laughs> as well as in the Twitch server. You know, something like that. Something like that. Live streaming that was in Discord. Well timed. I got the just here so I don't get fined. That was me in that moment. <laughs> it's like a shaky rope bridge that could snap at any minute. What life? Mm-hmm. Seems right. Very true. <laughs> I like it. Lodge stream. 
Is that a lodge tour stream? What you got planned? Oh yeah, I need to make a lodge. Yes, you do. In, I keep telling game? you this. I keep They're forgetting that I no on this on classic since I had all the cool stuff. I'm telling you, in the beginning you get all the cool stuff. It was cool. Like I think Kyla started playing last summer because I seemed to recall that I'd be mowing grass a lot, and she would always like find cool stuff. Like the her first big whitetail. 170 something on settlers. Mm -hmm. I came in from mowing the grass. She's like, Are You proud of me? I took the trophy shot and everything. Was it awful? <laughs> yes, it was, but I tried. That's something with classic. You have to get better at trophy shots as you go on. Mm -hmm. There oh, may that? be some kind of potential problems depending on states. Be fries. Like Ooh. if you were live streaming your view, I don't know if license plates and stuff could be a problem, but. American Truck Simulator is like a really highly viewed genre. What if you just did that IRL? I think that could work. That was quite a big buck I just sent, Roman. I'll come get him. I finally nope. had a buck call, guys. Mine's nope. <laughs> <laughs> you can back off, Slinter. It is, KC. Anytime you're within uh, 75 meters of a lodge or like 5 meters of a tent, you press F2. Uh, I can show you here. How close is this buck? Right, I'll show you real quick. So you get within basically any place where you can access your inventory. F2 is your mirror camera button. So we'll get close enough. And then if you press space, it's this little camera. That'll take your profile picture. Now, I don't think, actually, I know the profile picture is not the entire thing. I think it's maybe the upper half or like the center or something. But that's how you take your profile picture. And if you see, like some people have a profile photo like sitting next to a deer or something. That's how they do it. They place a tent right by it and take their photo like that. Hmm. Struck gold. Dude, it, it could probably work. I don't know how you read chat. You could have a text-to-speech thing. Could work. Because you really don't want to be reading chat while driving. That's an okay buck. We'll take that. It's nice to see things, you know, with antlers. <laughs> it is nice. You too many wows for me. <laughs> wows. Wow. Oh, speaking of wows, one just called. <laughs> Perfect timing again. My buck called as you were saying that. <laughs> Are there any rifles in classic that look like they're based on a Remington 700? Uh, not necessarily. Let me let me look through the store real quick as this guy's coming in. I'm thinking maybe like a a close-ish one might be the what do they call it? It's not the 300 carbon. Where's it at? Make sure we keep this guy coming in too, because that'll be awkward if he turns around and leaves. There is a 300, but it, I don't know that it would necessarily be like the uh, the Model 700. Where is it? I guess it is a pretty old gun. E. Yeah, the 300 Carbon, I guess, kind of is. But, and it's largely the exact same model, but just the, the base 300 bolt, I think, is a little closer. I'll do a lot for money. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, right? Make ends meet. What, bottom boy? I like... Ooh. If I... If I... What? 165 to 205 white tail. Ooh, boy. Mm. Another 200 on stream? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> he's got... He looks like he's got crab claws. Alright. I like it. There's quite a few deer around this spot. I think that's Sh the one I sent running. Shadow just stood up so she can start barking when we start yelling about a 200 like we did for mine as well. Bark for She's sure. prepared. I don't think I'd ever get lucky unless I have two 200s. Like, you'd, you'd have to be one of maybe like, I don't know, less than 50 people to have two 200s if that happened. Yeah, I don't, I can't even get a great look at him because he's in the reeds. That but I know that he was pretty big. Like, I can see him when 
my binos are down because of like the reads not rendering, but I can't like look at me. He looks me in the pretty, eyes when I talk to you. He looks pretty good. I think he's like he's probably like a one seventy, knowing <laughs> me. Can't wait to have spawning info. <laughs> Hopefully he's bigger than that. Blacktail, so they're we were talking about this earlier. Blacktail are really peculiar. Something to do with their true racks. This is like the most common score for like a decent buck you'll see is 161, 162. You basically never get 170s or 180s. Any above 190 is like a real trophy. So you've got that frame size that we just shot there. And then it's a, it's the same frame but kind of scaled up that are the 190s. So that's like a above average buck. I'd say an average is like a 140. Very spooky. You just spooked again and I wasn't even like barely moving. It's because you smell like pudding. Probably. He so hates really me. small or a 160? Exactly. You say he hates you? Yeah, he hates me. He knows you I see, want to shoot him. He knows that he has 2,000 meters to cover to get to where I'm at, so. <laughs> You're not stealing him. Huh. That's funny. What a pathetic it's a kick button. Mail. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> we finally Why see mail bullying? and it's like 25 to 65 come on that's what you get for making fun of me earlier you know what I think about that guy <laughs> what do you think about that I'm still kept going that was a bad shot then good thing nobody saw that it ran off shh, 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 shh. <laughs> it's okay notice Roosevelt are about the same they have good variety in the big frames though like it takes time to learn it, but there are like multiple frame types within the big frames. Like the 400 frame typically has like kind of wavy brow tines almost. Where's that spot? Tis right here. Let's zoom out a little bit more so you can see where I'm at, but it's a good little spot. I really only have it here because you need to have a tent more than 400 meters from a bear barrel. And this is probably the best spot for black bear in the entire game. This spot down here is good too. But um, it just kind of so happens that it's a really good spot for blacktail. You'll get moose here, you'll get elk here, but it's really a blacktail hotspot. So, since we're playing classic and since I have a mic on, when are you going to do a beginner's guide for classic? Since I, you got your 200, I knew that's why you didn't really want to do it, do because of the 200. So now, I want to know. If you're watching and you're curious what on earth that means... In order to do a proper beginner's guide, I would have to make a separate account because I can't do like a beginner's guide and have level 20 spotting and tracking. That just wouldn't make any sense. And I wouldn't be able to, A, I wouldn't be able to be in like the best beginner mindset. Maybe I'd miss things or, or not think of certain things that I would think of when I'm forced to play that way. But I just, I always knew in this search for 200, if I started a fresh account and did a beginner series i was mm. i just knew i'd run into a 200 there and be gutted have you ever gotten a super rare on classic i technically have shot three things that would qualify i'm in the super rare gallery twice i've told the story enough that i'll make it quick but i shot when piebald feral hogs were rare i shot an 1166 piebald feral hog my recording failed the this was during the time when classic trophy shots weren't uploading to your gallery or saving to your computer. So that happened. So I have no, like, visual evidence that it existed. That might be a 190. Uh, might be a 162, I can't tell. Yeah, 160. Anyway. So there's that. I have two albino red deer hinds in the same trophy shot, and I have, from a stream, a 356 non-typical mule deer and a 217 typical we shot them like 40 meters away and dropped them both with a bow because they were in the same herd too. So one, I want to say the non-tip came in first and I knew that I had to shoot him far away if I wanted to get the super rare and we made the double drop shot with the, the pulser or the parker or something. It was, it was quite cool. Hey, X-Men. Where is the super rare gallery? It's on the, uh, the Hunter Wiki. So if you go to... If you go and search the Hunter Wiki, you'll also see the Call of the Wild Wiki. They are two separate pages. And then I think you got to search Super Rare Animal Gallery. It used to be called something else, but I believe it's that now. 
Yeah, super rare animal gallery. It was the last once in a lifetime my... something. Once in a lifetime trophies or something. Yeah. Which I guess when people started to be on there more than once, it didn't make as much sense anymore. <laughs> is a piebald feral hog rare? In this game, it no longer is. It used to be, but they made them common because calling it piebald is not even necessarily accurate. It was always more of just like a spotted fur anyway, which many feral hogs are. Nice shot. Why, thank you. Moving along with the cable back. I don't think... How do we have 16 kills today? What happened? I guess I've had a number of tree stand ones. I'm going to bring you guys to every classic stream because I don't get this many kills ever. <laughs> Flying by me? Well, now well, there's, you know, there's only three of us on the map. You can roam far more, I think. As that well. might be part of it. That's true. You're not too limited when it comes to that, like, 600 we meter. We could call it, like, the classic cast or something and just... Classic cast. Classic cast. <laughs> The cast of class? I don't know. <laughs> Did you get the weight of that buck that you spotted? Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on. Let me pick it up. I think it's up to 90. Okay. That would fall in line with the conversation we were having about big males not always being max weight. Pretty much. He is. Yeah, 75 to 90. Oh, 75 to 95. Ooh, Nice. What are the chances of getting a non-tip in Classic? Been hunting for one for a while and I've never seen one. I don't know. Like, nobody knows what the spawn rates are as it should be. But I do remember the devs saying that non-tips would be made so that everybody could get one. Which, my interpretation of that is that they're significantly more common than, like, say, an albino, a melanistic, a piebald. Um, Can you tell but, that to my game, please? Uh, Just... Your game this? spawns 200 typicals instead. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I'd like a big doctor. But, 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 that was a uh, common thing, though. I knew a lot of people. This is going back about five years when, or even six, seven years, when Classic was still, like, the main or only game on the channel. I knew a lot of people that were, like, consistently just trying to get their first nod tip. It, it's random at the end of the day. You never know. It could be your first hunt. It could be your hundredth hunt. I wouldn't imagine it's going to take more than that if you're shooting 10 to 15 deer a hunt, but you never know. Yeah, I've just got really weird luck, as we've discussed before. 200 typicals are more rare? A 200 typical in Classic is probably... I mean, I'll give you my stats. I have harvested in the Hunter Classic. Let's scroll down here. I have harvested 5,203 whitetail, not counting the ones we've killed today, so 5,210 whitetail. I've tracked 11,000 and spotted 7,500, and I have one 200 typical. I have spotted two 200 typicals, to be fair. I was... I forgot that story ever existed. Now that I got a 200, I'm no longer sad about this. So, sometime, maybe two or three years into Call of the Wild's existence... Classic had a bit of a resurgence. I think it was when they went free-to-play. And there were a number of, like, patrons of the channel and, you know, just super active Discord members that really got into Classic. And every day for... This is when I was still living at home at my parents, but... Every day for months, we had a little voice chat in the uh, Patreon chat. And we'd jump on and play Classic. And one of the newer players was kind of looking for some help, so I was just like, yeah, I'll take you out on the hunt, whatever. So we're going along, we get this, we're going in this buck, and it spooks. It was a really weird thing. It spooked, and then immediately called back. But as multiplayer, weird things happen. So we start to move towards it and, and start calling it in. And it's a situation maybe kind of like this. Like, we know it's close, so we're crawling along. And all of a sudden, this buck crests the hill, like, right there. And I know it's a 200 the moment I see it. It's like the biggest buck I've ever seen. It's got this, I think it was only up to 205 estimate, but... I just knew it had the exact right frame all the time, length eight by eight. And, you know, I wasn't going to tell the guy, hey, I'm shooting that one. So he smokes and it's a 203. So I have seen oh. two. And had I That's been nuts. on my own that day, I'd have harvested two out of 5,200 kills. So what, a one in 2,600 chance or something like that? That's nuts, though, when you think about it. It really is. 
I always, also, always blew my mind. The, just like that day is when the 200 showed up when I was helping somebody else. It's the way in it. Yep. Salt of the law. I recorded it, Fro. But I think I gave the footage to him. Maybe I put it in a video. I don't know. I put a lot of things into videos back then. I did a lot more like... You know, any video I do now is basically like a full length hunt. I'll almost never do a here's a thing type of video. Like I do that on the Clips channel. That's kind of why the two can coexist. But back then I still would have done those. So I don't know. Maybe it's out there. This is probably five plus years ago. Four anyway, maybe close to five. Crazy. I can figure it out if I really went looking. I had that buck coming in, by the way, and a black-tailed doe walked towards me and then saw me and spooked. And oh, spooked no. the buck. Literally as I was putting my crosshairs onto him. <sighs> I have epic music playing now, so now you have to get him. And he's a 200? <laughs> yeah. 9 to 12, Ibrahim, I think? Get Buffalo drink times, that sound right? Uh, yeah, I think it's 9 to 12. But... When I was last hunting them, they didn't show up until we're way gone 11, so... Yeah. They might not be there if you said it to that time. How many non-tips do I have? According to my stats, uh, 67 plus 8, 75, but I think there was a time when they weren't counting, so maybe 80 or so. Holy goodness. I've got, like, three. I have played this game a little bit. I have one white tail and, like, Two or three mule deer, and they're all small. I would like to know total harvest, because I don't think once you eclipse thirty-two k, I don't think it shows you anymore. Huh? Ah, I'm almost at a thousand pheasants. I need forty-eight more. Thousand pheasants. Could be a fun thing to do one of these days. I'm gonna do that in Call of the Wild too. Like some of the achievements that are still achievable, i.e. like not do the Halloween missions from five years ago. Like there's one, you gotta kill like three or five caribou from the same herd with heart shots or something. That's a max weight bear track. But like achievement hunting. And I used to do road to 100 videos and road to 1000s, but like further out than, hey, we're 10 away and we're gonna hit a thousand today because that's all the videos were. Uh, Irim, thanks for the, get the sub to Snowbro, by the way. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support. 80 non-tips? Out of... I mean, here, I'll tell you the, the total number of harvest between the three deer species, too. Whitetail is 5,200. I know that. Gotta scroll down again. Mule deer is over 2,000. Blacktail is over 1,000, but I don't know how much. Okay, so 5,200 for whitetail, 3,000 for mule deer. So, so I'll give you... This would be 8,251... And then Blacktail is another 1669. So whatever math that comes out to, right about almost 10,000 kills, 80 of them have been non-tips. What's that come out to? By the way, also worth noting, non-tips did not exist for the entirety of those kills. So uh, one in so 125. Yeah. So one in 100 I think would be feasible, which is what I was going to say earlier. I feel like that's about the rate that you get non-tips. And it's... You know, I've had two non-tips in back-to-back -back hunts. I've had two months between non-tips. It, but it all evens out. That is the beauty of this game. It is. I thought you made 80 non-typical whitetail. Now, 48 of them, 43 of them are whitetail. By far, mostly whitetail. But I've hunted by far, mostly whitetail. So that's no surprise. I don't even know what I've hunted most. I think mule deer, probably. Because of that tree stand on timber gold that I have. There is, like, alluring as the 200 whitetail is, nothing's more impressive than a 240 mule deer. Like, when you see that monster frame in this game coming in, it's really cool. Well, when I saw my 227, I thought I was going to die and have a heart attack because like, it was just, just huge. It reminded me of a candelabra. Yep. Just walking around, I was like, that is the biggest thing I've ever seen in this game. They stand out a bit more, because, like, 
A 175 whitetail and a 200 aren't that different. It's tines being a little bit longer, being a bit more even, maybe a frame being a little bit wider. The a 240 whitetail, even versus, say, like a 210, is a world of difference. I saw that shot. I thought that it was you killing the big male. I think I have my buck in sight now. Nice. What'd you shoot? Kyla just shot a huge one. No, it's I a doe. Don't. Kyla's literally Charlie Brown. I got a rock. All I get are does. Damn, this he is actually why I looks stay good. In my own mat. The thick, more though. I look at him, yeah. The more I look at him, the more like even his tines are and everything. Fingers crossed. If it was to be a two hundred, which it's not going to be, the noise that will uh, <laughs> happen. <laughs> Just trying to get to a point where I can actually see him led down because I'm not a great shot. Nice as whitetail racks, the high rack, they do look very cool, yeah. I think my 200 might be a high rack, I don't know. No, yours was a wide. Oh, that's right. I think. No, you're right, you're right. And then mine was high rack. Yes. Oh, now he's turned to face the other way. Listen, sir. I don't know, Zaggy, but that game doesn't have any bugs, so it's it's quite clear that there's some tomfoolery going on there. Tom Emphasis Foolery? on rack? Always? Rack. What? Rack and cheese. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know why I'm nervous. It's a good thing, why I'm I nervous? That's how it should be. I love that about this game. He's going to be like a 180, and I'm going to look like such a noob. I'll, I'll be here ready to go, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> sir. I'm At least there's a decent animal on your server. Hey. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, he's coming this way now. Let me shoot. I lost my bear tracks. Let me shoot you, Missy. Goodness, he looks... Good from that angle. He's got a good side. He's he's no, just from the front. He looks huge. He's Smoke dead. Him? Yeah. I do want to follow those tracks. Now I will just yeet myself over there real quick because I want to know if I'm being stupid or if he's actually big. The slowest sprint of your life. I know. <laughs> Where I love that though. That, that I can't always necessarily tell if it is a big one. Like it just looks big to me because then I get excited about everything. That's I, I've said that so many times about like the spotting knowledge. As much as it's incredibly handy in this game, so, I so miss the days of every big buck saying one thirty five to two fifteen. Need this trio. Eighty three k. One eighty five. Oh, nice. Not bad. Not bad. I'd take that any day. I will take a trophy shot. Um, where did my moose go? Sir! I'm not sure if he's an 8x8 eight eight or a 7x7. Seven oh, seven. There he is. Never mind. That's a 7x7. Seven yeah. seven. That's a thicken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, he's a 7x7. Seven seven. Wow. So, give him 8x8, eight eight, he's 190. Five or so? I think those G Ooh, sixes so are usually four or five inches. Yeah. He they might be an eight by eight. I might be looking at it wrong. Somebody said bottom boy they fixed that this last update. Definitely need this trio every Wednesday. We can we can make it happen at least a little more often, I think. Do it's you count fun. the main beam? Points? Yes. Yeah, so it's eight by eight then. Okay. I was having a brain fart, it's okay. I mean, Don't mind me being <laughs> No, no, like, see, there's so many different ways of counting antler points. Like... Yeah, everyone counts them differently. In the western US, that is an 8 point. Here, that's a 16 point. There's places where it would probably be a 7 point. A lot of places don't count brows. Yeah, see, that's what I get confused about, whether to count the brows in the main, because then people tell me I'm wrong, and then I get confused. It's like when I called the smallest whitetail racks the level ones in call the wild a spike 
because it's a spike with some stickers. And somebody was like, that's actually a six point. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know what a spike is. I'm like, come on, man. It's a spike with some little stupid tines. <laughs> How could you? Oh, oh. That's what we do, heavy arms. Like my... Mail. The big one I shot in 2021. It's a 5x5 five five with a sticker off each G2 and each G3. It's a 14 point to me. It's, it makes it sound better, right? Sir, where are you? Uh, ever film on their iPhones or an easy way to get the footage onto the PC? It, it is a pain. Um... So I've done it a couple of different ways. I've done it, if you have a Gmail account, you have 15 gigs of like, 15 or five, either way, it's probably enough, uh, free like storage in what they call a Google Drive. If you get the Google Drive app, you can relatively easily upload videos to that and then, golly, Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> wasn't me, wasn't me. Hatcha. Oh, you're cool, <laughs> you're so man. So disappointed. <laughs> Hatcha. What'd you like say? You're talking to Shadow. I so said the way you said Hatcha's name is I'm like. Just, I'm just. I'm not mad. Shadow. I'm just disappointed. Okay. I appreciate you, Hatcha. I would have done it if I had it. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. You it's upload from drive. your phone to the Drive app, and then it's on your Drive. You get to your Drive through your email. So that works. You can do it with like if you plug in a USB. Like the charger cord, it works, but it's like, it's a giant pain to dig through the files. The, the, it's like, there's no sorting that happens. They're not named in numerical order. It's very strange. It's annoying by the sounds of it. That should work for you, Bree. That's actually how I upload my... That's what I do for shorts. Uh, yeah, because there's a theory out there, and I don't know if it's true, that they'll kind of make your short more preferred if it's a mobile upload. So that's that's what I do as well. Into my Google Drive, download from the Drive app, upload from my phone. I've noticed a difference when I started from uploading it from the PC and then Google Drive to my phone. And then it has a specific thing where it's like, oh, upload, short, oh, add music. You could do way more on mobile than you can on PC yeah, this that is true. I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely like the preferred medium for it. Working, lurking T-Rex. That emote's one of the oldest ones we've had. This is the way. Uh, every now and then she shows up. Silvermoon, one of the community members, she drew that, actually. Pretty awesome. I just literally today, Brie, I was walking. Was when I was, I think that's what I was uh, on hold for forever, trying to get Shadow's vet appointment set up. I was just walking through the yard. Found one of my arrows that I lost in the fall. It's interesting because, <laughs> like, the grass wasn't terribly high. So how do we not see it? I, I don't, don't know. Because we were looking. I'm talking, like, put our hands to the ground. And not only that, okay. there's still at least two, if not three, in the yard. Because my brother lost... No, my brother and me both lost one with a broadhead on it. Because I, I screwed up the one day. I was super tired. I was trying to get my uh, arrows, like, noctuned. And I just, I moved something the wrong way. Just completely missed the target by a mile. I can't find that one. My brother shot over one at like 50 yards. It's forever away in the yard. Like, it's amazing we don't find them more. Well, you have a metal detector, so. How do you lose arrows? I mean, <laughs> it's normally the circumstance I'm talking about where like, I move the rest the wrong way and I'll shoot, like say I move the rest to the left and I meant to go right because I'm trying to move the arrow like I'm trying to like I'm hitting too far right and then I aim at the top left thing and I miss the target like six inches left or something like that I clearly miss and I can accept that Kyla has never missed I have and I'm like uh oh <laughs> it went straight into the ground and I can't see it. <laughs> sleepy flint with a weapon mayday I mean that's basically <laughs> what I was when I shot that buck in West Virginia. Will's not kidding when he said he just woke up in his stand when I texted him. I also had just like I was genuinely asleep within <laughs> 15 minutes of killing that deer. Really? <laughs> yeah, cuz like I really like this approach, but we were going out close to an hour before light. And part of that's because it takes a lot of time to set up the cell filming setup. Yeah, and it's a little bit noisy, so you want to be there way before the deer is starting to move like move back to their bedding. So we'd get there get everything set up and just take a nap for 20 minutes or something. And I remember it was like seven Oh five or something. And I, I opened my eyes 
Because the light wakes you up. It just does. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, uh, I'm tired. I might, might go back to sleep. And then I heard something. So it kind of kept me awake. And it, it, I think I said it was 721 or something when I shot it. Hmm. Why don't Mel shoot that you did? It was 185. Hey. I was trying and I tagged the wrong person. I was like, oh. <laughs> <I shut up. laughs> It was a play? decent book. It was indeed. Oh, yeah, we, we closed the server. I think next time, I don't know when next time that all three of us get together will be, but next stream will certainly be open multiplayer. And I think next time the three of us do a map, it'll be open. But for this one, I just wanted to do like a, a closed server so we could just, just chill and not have to. Just day stream and then it could be us three and then keep the Wednesdays for everybody else. Stream every day. Let's go. Is that what Dan Infault does? I know I know some of his stuff, but I, I don't know the... Is that his nap strategy? Second buck I shot the zero watching Breaking Bad. I've shot a couple... No bucks, but I've shot a couple of deer with Joe Rogan podcast in my ear. <laughs> the weird thing, because, like, you're a little bit conscious of it. You mostly tune it out. But, like, there's moments sometimes, like, when a deer steps behind a tree where it's just like, now you just gotta wait till it steps out. And all of a sudden, like, you're focused, you're focused, and then Joe Rogan starts talking about mushrooms or something, and you're like, what's he saying? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sounds good to be fries. Usually my weekends are, like, not spent at the computer, but every now and then I'm here. Actually, the last month I've been here, but I've been working on videos. All about pushing that bedding area. See, I need to get better at stuff like that. His thing too, like, cause he's largely, if not exclusively, a public land hunter. Because I'm hunting a lot of private land, it, like here especially, some of the best places where I'd want to set up are either just over the line or like right at the line. And I don't, I don't like hunting right on a property line, cause even if you're doing everything perfectly fine. Good chance the deer runs onto the other property. And also, you just don't want to have, like, the owner of that property being like, oh, he's hunting my land, I'm going to hunt his then. Yeah. Yo, my first turkey ever a couple years ago, five minutes after finishing a YouTube video? Some, It's funny how that works, too. I've had a couple of those as well where, like, I just complete something, whether it's, you know, reading an article or sending a text or something and look up, like, oh, there's a deer I need to shoot. A deer. What I think is, because I, I know there's got to be like an older generation of hunters that probably think it's ludicrous that someone's going to listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video or even be on their phone while hunting. And that's totally cool because I have mad respect for guys that hunted for days on end and had nothing to do but just sit in their thoughts. But it just keeps you in the stand and it keeps you still. Like if you're not fidgeting, if you're just faced in your phone reading an article or scrolling through Twitter or whatever... Yeah, maybe you're not being the most attentive. Some deer might slip by. But at least you're not, like, fidgeting around, standing up, sitting down, you know, turning over your shoulder all the time. Sometimes it's just better to be still and just let them let them do their thing. It's total sense. I'm all about, like, I mostly try to read. I don't like block, like, because I, I won't play podcast or whatever through my phone speakers i will use one earbud or whatever if i have to yeah but i prefer to just read and not have some of my hearing because hearing is my biggest like attribute i always hear deer coming i don't see them i heard my big male 100 yards away in in crp wow thank you for the flesh bits why i appreciate you what's up Aston? i like this this has covered so many topics today and it's been like all positive Imagine a podcast. See? Imagine what? <laughs> a podcast. podcast. Where it doesn't have to always be positive. Where we can talk <laughs> absolute <laughs> rubbish on things. Just be blatantly... Like that acid kid. What honest. a nerd. What a nerd. I heard he doesn't have a 200 whitetail. <laughs> what a pleb. <laughs> Imagine. I don't either. Sucks to suck. Yeah, but Kyla, you're you're different. No. You have like a billion great ones. Yeah. 
It's about the same amount of special. You have that moose. So. Sure. I do want to follow them. A podcast where Flantro is the clip puller? Wait, as in, like, I'm the Jamie of the Joe Rogan podcast? Is that what you mean? I'm thinking that's what you mean. Anyway, somehow two hours has flown by. So I suppose we should find wow. someone to raid. That went yeah. quick. It's actually been 27 minutes in normal classic stream time. Yeah. <laughs> they are sometimes quite slow. Go another hour? You're right, I won't, because I'm tired and I have to try at least to make the thumbnail for my brother's elk video that's coming out on Friday. That's a pretty cool video. I'm happy with it. Where'd you get the name um, Flinter from? It's from Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 09. I'm going to make a clip for my clip channel, actually, where I explain the entire thing, because I think that's going to be easier to just send a link to that. No one will watch it. I just put a link in there. That was whatever. Pretty. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> as a mod so perspective, sad. listen, dude, I didn't mean to do that. As a mod perspective, if we as mods answer for you or put a link or put Well, I will say, link, go watch like, that. Oh my gosh, Flinner didn't talk to me. I'm going to have to repeat 12 times so he can answer my question. Like, it doesn't matter. They I have will... to hear it live. They literally have to hear it come from you. So. I will tell them to watch that and I'll refuse to answer. Okay. Good anyway. Luck. <laughs> Some of you guys are asking to, to go see Timbergal Trails. We're going to raid Knocked Up. He is on Timbergal Trails. But before that, thanks to Kyla and Mel for hanging out today. I will uh, I'll put the little fancy command things here in chat. Check out the channels. Holy. Holy. Do Thank you. I might, I, might be I don't know. Watch Mel, not me. No, watch Kyla, not says. me. No, no. That's not it. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a command for this, I swear. You're doing great. There it is. I did it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to send a raid over to Knocked Up. And uh, you guys are looking for more classic content. He is like the most consistent. What did I do? How did I do that wrong? Mm. No, that should have been right. How did that not work? Oh, slash raid. Look at me doing so many things wrong here. <laughs> I had it typed so... out and then I backspaced to do the commands. All right. I did it. <laughs> anyway, good things. Uh, go watch Knocked Up. Say hi. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video on Hirschfelden. Can you believe it? Holy. Wild. Holy. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Bye.